When the Covenant encountered a new species, regardless of how the initial meeting went, at some point the species would be offered a chance to join the Holy Union. Well, offered might be a bit misleading. While not all would put up a fight, all would bow to the might of the Covenant. But at the end of the 23rd Age of Doubt, a new species was discovered that threatened the entire existence of the Covenant. This species was humanity, and unlike previous species, they were never offered the chance to join. But why? Why weren't humans allowed to join? Officially, it was claimed humanity had committed a great heresy. Most of those we encountered on our search were compelled to join our Union, to take part in a movement that promised freedom for allegiance, salvation for service. But some, like the humans, chose to impede our progress block our access to sacred sites, damage holy relics. For their transgressions, the humans shall be hunted until none remain alive. However, looking yeah. over the Covenant's more than 3,000 year history, other client species had committed various forms of blasphemy and later been accepted in. Notably, the Letgolo, the worms that make up hunters, were found in the rings of their native world Tay, the rings actually made up of devoured Forerunner stations. Wow. As with humanity, the Covenant declared a holy war. In time, and with the help of an Arbiter, they discovered some of the Letgolo ate around the Forerunner relics. These Letgolo were folded into the Covenant and helped wipe out the Letgolo that actually ate Forerunner relics. Wow. So, a species that committed blasphemy could be offered a chance to join the Covenant under the right conditions. And in fact, some Sangheili, the elites, found the lack of an offer rather odd. In 2552, two Sangheili were secretly recorded discussing this very fact, and it is noted that Unthosraum, one of the Halo 3 co-op characters, was one of a group of growing human sympathizers among Sangheili youth prior to the end of the war. So, if not blasphemy, what could cause the prophets to declare a decades-long holy war against humanity? Well, in short, because the existence of humanity was a threat to the very foundation of the Covenant. In the 23rd Age of Doubt, between late December 2524 and January 2525, three Sanshayun prophets were plotting to rise to power as the new hierarchs to usher in a new age. Hmm. Officially, the Oracle on board the Dreadnought at the center of High Charity would announce new hierarchs. However, like with much of the Covenant's doctrine, this was a farce. San Shayun would use political moves and blackmail to climb the ladder of power, and these prophets were no exception. Around this time, the human world of Harvest had been discovered, with Covenant luminaries identifying the planet as a treasure trove of Forerunner artifacts. <laughs> Two ministers, the Vice Minister of Tranquility, Lode Moran, and the Minister of Fortitude, Ord Casto, visited the Dreadnought and the old San Shayun who served as the philologist, Hod Rument, to confirm the data about Harvest. When it was entered for the first time in millennia, the Oracle, a fragment of mendicant bias, awoke and revealed a horrifying truth. The symbol that for eons had been translated as Reclamation actually meant Reclaimer and represented the AI's masters. <laughs> the three Sanshayu managed to shut down the Oracle but were left in shock. They now believed that humans were descendants of forerunners left behind, those who had not been swept up by the divine winds of Halo and sent on the path of the Great Journey. If this were to get out, it would shatter the Covenant, whose entire religion was built on the idea that all true believers would be able to achieve godhood. If some yeah. Forerunners were left behind, then not every member would be able to take the Great Journey. Now, as we know, this isn't actually the truth, as humanity were not descended from Forerunners, but were in fact the chosen inheritors of the Forerunner legacy. More accurately, as Reclaimers, they were reclaiming their former glory as a spacefaring race that they once were. But of course, the San Shayun weren't aware of this truth, not that it would really make things much better. Anyway, upon discovering this revelation, the three San Shayun present decided then and there that it had to be covered up. And of course, to do that, the humans would have to be exterminated. Jeez. Folding the philologist into their plans, the three San Shayun blackmailed their way to power, rising up as the new hierarchs. Lord Moran, the vice minister of tranquility, became the prophet of regret. Had Rument, the philologist, became the prophet of mercy. And Ord Casto, the minister of fortitude, became the prophet of truth. Together they would usher in the ninth age of reclamation and declare a holy war against humanity, beginning a 27-year genocide. 
And there you have The Truth Behind the Human Covenant War, a fascinating tale of three Sanchayun prophets discovering a grand threat to their society and trying to cover it up. In the years following the start of the war, the majority of Sanchayun would be made aware of this knowledge, likely to better direct war efforts against humanity. It was only with the start of the Great Schism in November of 2552 that the truth would be revealed. And following the collapse of the Covenant, at least one of its remnant factions would actually allow humans into its ranks. The Keepers of the One Freedom, a Jiro Hanai-led faction that still believed in the Great Journey, would allow anyone who believed in the Journey to join its ranks, even humans. Wow. Thanks for Yeah, so I didn't know, like, they they became, like, like those three became the prophets, um, and like, they tried to, like, cover up that like i i obviously didn't didn't know that that is shocking um that is cool because then it's like those three the prophets they were like everything that we kind of knew it it was wrong so now we're gonna step up become the prophets make a whole new era in our species in our in our quest here and they're like we're gonna hate the humans we're gonna call one demon basically and you know and like then hence the eternal hatred of humans that the covenant has that is insane that is so cool though 